Again, the gold at stake here in the women's light flyweight Let division. And Dang and Dang of Indonesia wearing red. Introducing first. And Josie Kabuko of the Philippines corner. in blue. From the country, Indonesia. And Endang Endang has been introduced. And make no mistake about it, she deserves her spot in the final. This year in the Belt and Road Championships in China, she picked up a gold medal. 2018 in the Indonesian National Games, she was named the best boxer of all the divisions. This is her first Southeast Asian Games, but she's in there to put up a challenge against this lady just about to be introduced. Josie Kabuko, 32 years old, a former world champion back yes. in 2012, has picked up four gold medals in the Southeast Asian Games, and this year has been outstanding. She has won gold medals in the Indian Open, the Asian Championships, and the Strangia Cup in Bulgaria. But starting the Southeast Asian Games this year, Josie Kabuko almost withdrew because she was nursing a fever she had a running nose she had a bad cough and the president of the philippine boxing federation mr ricky vargas actually advised her that if she wanted to not fight in the southeast asian games it would be completely understandable and acceptable by the federation but gabuko said no way she was going to surrender no way she was going to quit. Fever or no fever, she was in there to fight. She's going to go for her fifth gold medal in the Southeast Asian Games. And it's going to be a tough one, though, against Endang Endang of Indonesia. This would make for a classic matchup. And our referee from Chinese Taipei, Chang Yuling. And let's remember that on the way to the final, Josie Gabuko beat the ranking Thai contender Raksat by a 4-1 split decision. Let's also remember, in the 2018 Kapolri Cup in Indonesia, Gabuko beat Endang in the final of that competition. And an overhand right to open up her Try for a fifth gold medal connected there by Josie Kabuko of the Philippines. And Another both fighters right. know each other well. They did fight in the final of the Capoldry Cup last year. Gabuko winning that one. Gabuko looking to make it two in a row over Andang. Both fighters orthodox. And the two contingents with the largest representation in the crowd getting noisy. The Indonesians and the Filipinos. So some holding being done. Josie Gabuko, of course, is fully recovered from the illness that almost made her withdraw from this competition. Another oh, overhand right. A nice right hand coming from Josie Gabuko. In her second fight in this competition, Josie didn't look as quick, yes. as accurate as in her first fight. But now, with a championship on the line, with a gold medal at stake, Josie Gabuko is giving it all she's got. Remember, Josie Gabuko was not part of the 2005 contingent here in the Philippines, so she is looking to make history by winning in front of her hometown fans. Oh, connection oh. that time. One, two, three. Combination, and again, a left hand by Josie Gabuko who's finding an easy target in Endang. Endang after that jab, practically not doing anything right now. Gabuko launching again with the left hand. So the, Gabuko's actually swinging for the fences. And a lot of first shots early on. 
And Dang trying to come in with a combination. Not very accurate. Joseph Gabuko tying her up. Now remember, the men's boxing, uh, the men's division, the headgear is gone. And probably might not be long before they take out the headgear from the women's division as well. Apparently, some studies have been made that uh, when you're wearing a headgear, you have a higher incidence of getting a concussion. <laughs> so that's one of the that's reasons. That's ironic. Yes, that's one of the reasons why they took away the headgear first in a men's division. And that's the end of the first round. So Josie Kabuga of the Philippines opening strong, finishing strong. And Endang Endang of Indonesia has to regroup. Heading into the second round, and again, it started out with that one from Josie Gabuko, the overhand right, connecting. She had another one right here. And that's the big punch of jo Josie Gabuko. And you notice it's coming from way outside. And where's the defense on the part of Endang? As Gabuko scoring with a combination in a rapid fire sequence. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. A series of blows connected by Josie Gabuko from distance. And Endang showing absolutely no defense. She had a bye in her first fight and then came back to score a victory over Myanmar in the second. We're actually uh, fortunate enough to cover that bout where she beat the fighter from Myanmar. Now into the second round. Josie Gabuko of the Philippines, good start. A lot the right of power hand, punches, yeah. The right hand has been a gem for Josie Kabuko. And that time she comes in with a left hand. She needs to set up that right. She was able to get in those right hands without setting it up with the left in the first round. But can she do it again on a consistent basis? There it is again. Boy, that, that right hand is coming from nowhere. That's coming from left field. And Endang trying to be a counter puncher, not successful with it as well. Another and, one. And, and uh, another they both one go of down, those though. looping shots by Josie Kabuko. You know, if the referee's not careful, she might be in the range of that right hand. Right. Well, we've seen that happen in professional ranks, never here in the Southeast Asian Games, though. <laughs> that would make for great TV. That would go viral. <laughs> At this point, Gabuko knows that she's ahead on points, trying to add to it. And again, the Indonesian Endang is now becoming a counterpuncher. And Gabuko again swinging with that right hand. Not being very accurate, however, in this round. I think she needs to go back to the basics. That right hand coming from outside. That needs to... That needs to be a little more consistent for her. Well, you know, but it the, also needs to be set up. Exactly, but the jab has been working for Josie Kabuko of the Philippines against Endang of Indonesia. Another overhand right missing there. We have a minute and 13 remaining in the second round. This is for the gold medal now in the women's light flyweight here in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. And the Indonesian fighter now slowly starting to find her range. Endang, Endang. But gets tied up this time by Josie Kabuko of the Philippines. But the style of Josie Kabuko, very difficult to read. Very often, the traditional way of fighting is you lead off with a left jab if you're orthodox, and then you throw a right straight in combination. With Josie Kabuko, she's leading off with the right hand immediately without resorting to the left hand. And she's been able to connect. If the defense is absent, that would be easy, but there has been adjustments now from Endang. Final 23 seconds of the second. Endang's actually, actually the taller fighter. Yeah, that right hand, again. Watch Josie Gabuko. Locked and loaded. And she's, very, she's a very exciting fighter. And Indonesia going down on the slip. And round number two will come to an end. Josie Kabuko of the Philippines continues to have a field day against Endang Endang of Indonesia. No offense being shown, but the Indonesian crowd still liking what they see. That's a, a group of uh, Indonesian athletes, actually.
in that, the building. That looping right hand once more connecting for Josie Gabuco. Do it one more time. There it is. And then taking a swing with the left, but missing the target. Yeah, Josie Gabuco had to go up against a Chutailan Mat Raksat. And uh, another fighter from Vietnam <laughs> to get to this point. Now Endang Endang searching for answers now. Last three minutes of this fight for the gold. Women's boxing, of course, is a new event in the Southeast Asian Games. It's Just actually, not too long ago, yeah. It's actually been around since uh, 2005. That's right, since uh, the Philippines That's last right. hosted, hosted so the Southeast Asian Games. This is the seventh competition with women's boxing in the Southeast Asian Games. Uh, women's boxing actually got introduced in the Southeast Asian Games before it entered the calendar in the Olympics. And many sports now considered to be mainstream medal sports also beginning in the Southeast Asian Games. Wushu, of course, being one of those. But of course, women's boxing has now been accepted as a mainstream sport. Another right hand connected by Gabuko. The Filipina teeing off right now. And just making sure that she's able to preserve her lead. Josie Kabuko, just a minute and 40 away from clinching a gold medal in the Southeast Asian Games. And Dang and Dang is going to be happy with the silver medal, considering that she's fighting a former world champion, a very classy fighter, certainly a fighter with a lot of heart. Definitely. But the fact that she did not want to surrender her slot in the Southeast Asian Games, despite a fever and a runny nose. Well, Looks now, like yeah, being asked to go to some the laces. Oh, shoelaces. The, the issue. shoelaces need to be tied. And there you go. Time must stop momentarily. And here we go. So, final minute and 12 in this bout. Jessica Buga scored heavily, causing Endang to backpedal a lot. And a combination once again by Gabuko of the Philippines. And Gabuko doesn't mind fighting from close distance. She can engage, she can fight from distance. And it's complete domination oh. right here. Connection with the right hand. It's two Boy, right hands in that, a row. That has been cash for her. Yep. That right hand. And such a sweet punch thrown by Josie Gabuko. And again, it's thrown as a lead punch. There's no setup from the left jab. There it is, once more. So final 30 seconds in this bout. The first and time we had a Filipina boxer, she did not win the gold in this competition. Let's see if Josie Gabuco can win it for the Philippines. So far, the two males have been successful. Can Josie Gabuco be the first successful one in the, uh, among the women? Now you heard the 10 second clapper. That's the warning to say that just a few seconds are left in this fight. And there it is, the final bell, the end of the contest. Josie Gabuco is gonna walk away with a gold medal in the women's light flyweight division. And Endang Endang just did not have anything to be able to thwart Josie Gabuco. The accuracy may have gone down in the last two rounds for Josie Gabuco, but impact, pa impact punches as well. Still there towards the end. So Josie Gabuco of the Philippines, probably on the cusp of winning her fifth Southeast Asian Games medal. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for both fighters? After three rounds of exciting women's light flyweight, we come to a decision.
winner by a unanimous decision and receiving a gold medal for the women's line flyweight from the blue corner. And there it is. It is official. And the sign of the cross in thanks to the Lord above, Josie Gabuco, the gold medalist in the 48 kilogram women's light flyweight division. Gold medal number five for Josie Gabuco of the Philippines, settling for the silvers Endang Endang of Indonesia. And this is a complete shutout. Shutout. <laughs> there was never any doubt. Josie Gabuco was in firm control of the contest right from the start. Boy, that, that right hand coming out of nowhere, that was beautiful. And then a hug from Don Abnett, the Australian coaching consultant. And she's in tears. And it's about time she lets out the tears after her journey. Still a little bit of a cough. That's right, she's still not well. And her journey now ends with a gold medal. Again, confirmation of the medals here. Myanmar and Vietnam taking the bronze and the women's light flyweight Endang Endang of Indonesia with the silver and Josie Kabuka of the Philippines, gold. And let's recap the action that just happened. There's Josie Kabuko in the middle of the ring and then in action, boy, that right hand. <laughs> that kept connecting, landing, and Josie Kabuko declared the winner. Well-deserved victory for the 32-year-old repeat gold medalist, a five-peat gold medalist in the Southeast Asian Games. The Games Federation President and President of the Philippine Olympic Committee, Congressman Abraham and the Latino. Philippine Olympic Committee President, Congressman Abraham Bambol Talentino will be doing the honors but here is the lady of the moment, Josie Gabuco, the world champion in 2012, picking up her fifth gold medal in women's boxing in the Southeast Asian Games. She struck gold in 2009, in 2011, 2013, and 2015. She would have struck gold in 2017, except that with Kuala Lumpur, hosted the Southeast Asian Games that year. There was no women's boxing. Josie Gabuco holding up her Pai Midal. Ladies and, and gentlemen, let us all rise. An applause coming from Mr. Ed Pixon, the Federation from the Philippines. of the Philippines Secretary General and the National Anthem of the host country. are now being represented to the audience and the photo with uh, the president of the Philippine Olympic Committee Congressman Abraham Tolentino and the chairman of the Games and Amusements Board Abraham Mitra we win as one and the Philippines Josie Gabuco has made it a habit to strike gold in the Southeast Asian Games a former world champion in 2012 Kabuko is in the history books as a five-peat gold medalist in the Southeast Asian Games.